now today. I bought this uh, box off eBay from Japan that's full of, this is Japanese, Korean, and Chinese candy snack box, or uh, not candy, but snacks, so Let's see what the heck's in here. Now, I'm not going to be able to read any of this, I don't know what's Japanese, what's Chinese, if you guys uh, read the, the print here, you might be able to tell. I have no idea, but this looks like some kind of like sesame stick type thing. Uh, this here. I guess it's like a some kind of a chicken flavored uh, snack, or it's maybe uh, maybe maggots in the chicken. I'm not sure exactly. So if anybody knows. Um, it's just like Japanese to me. Uh, the say here. Here's something. Let's try to see what it say here. Yeah, it's Japanese. I can tell the symbols of Japanese in this. Chinese looks a lot different. Um, okay. We got this here. Um, I'm going to say that's probably a uh, rabbit. No, it's probably some kind of steak or something. I'm not real sure. Very strange. I love buying this kind of stuff because I just don't know what it is. That's the picture on there. So some type of uh, looks like flank steak or something. But then the inside looks brown and it feels like like nori or something. So I'm not sure. Um, some kind of cookie. It's a marshmallow. Okay, it's in English on this side. Yeah, it's soft marshmallowy. Okay, we got some Hello Kitty. Little biscuits here. I'm not sure if these are sweet or savory. I would imagine it'd be slightly sweet. Okay, next up here is um, these look like those. Uh, what's these things called, Mr. Jeff? That I like. The it comes in a roll, of little chalky candies. No. It's all Japanese. So far, everything looks like it's Japanese. It's like it was a mixture of uh, supposed to be primarily Japanese. Um, here's a pig. I'm guessing that's a pork flavored, like a noodle snack. Okay, next up here is a uh, teriyaki flavored something. It looks like some dude holding hamburgers, so maybe it's teriyaki flavored hamburgers. Or it could be monkey. I'm not sure. It could be a monkey. And he's eating the hamburger, or the hamburger is made out of the monkey. I'm not real sure. It kind of looks like an upside down golden arches, but only one arch. Interesting. You food, fast food, teriyaki. So I'm not sure what that'll be. Interesting. Okay, we got some kind of mini, uh, this is mini Caplico strawberry flavor. This is some kind of little sweet dessert type thing. This is interesting. I think I paid 15 bucks for all this stuff. And you get quite a bit of stuff in here for 15 bucks. Uh, fruit donuts. This is probably some kind of gummy type thing it feels like, looks like. I do love all the little characters though, uh. You know, Japanese use a lot of uh, characters in their advertising and all, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, here's some kind of little, it looks like a hard candy maybe. Lychee or something. Maybe kiwi. Hard to tell. Uh, here's a crunch milk candy. Pico. Pecco, I don't know. Uh, it looks, looks like a lifesaver. 
this is probably something Luke Skywalker would carry in his in his jacket pocket. Uh, here's another character. Kind of looks like it'd be bazooka. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's some kind of gum. Sugar, gum paste. Yeah, okay. That's like a gum, like a bazooka top gum. Uh, here we got Choco Cream Bourbon. So probably like a uh, flower snack rolled up with some chocolate in the middle, I would assume. Okay, here we got a uh, Cheese Zack. Kind of looks like, uh, you know, the... You know, easy being cheesy character, but uh, the Japanese version with an extremely long tongue. You girls uh, better stay back from him. Some kind of cheese snack. Okay, so uh, we got a grape uh, soda. I'm thinking this might be gum. It's kind of hard, but kind of soft. So I'm thinking it's some kind of gum. Then here we got uh, Glico Pretz. So I'm guessing these are pretzels. You know, I'm a fan of the Pocky, so uh, these don't feel like they have any yogurt on them. I think it's just a straight-up pretzel. And a couple more things in here. We got um, a yeah, hard candy, I think, maybe. And then one more of these things. Uh, this feels like a gummy, so this is some kind of gummy. Yeah, mango gummy candy. There we go. And they sent me a thank you card. Happy adventure. Uh, so on the uh, the listing, it was um, it said Japanese uh, assorted snacks from Japan, but it had uh, it said could have. Uh, some Chinese and some Korean snacks, but pretty much all look Japanese to me. I don't see any Korean writing or anything that I could identify. So definitely no Chinese, I saw. So, yeah. Not bad. 15 bucks, you get all this stuff, and uh, we'll dig into this uh, maybe on this episode a few things and kind of periodically check in with uh, different snacks. There's way too much snacks to eat at one time, but. Yeah, we'll pick out a couple of things and uh, try them out. All right, so while we wait on our collard greens to uh, do their thing, we're gonna try a couple of these things out. So Mrs. Chef said she wanted to try the marshmallow out. It is a very, very nice feeling marshmallow, like very uh, fresh. And uh, I was thinking we try this Hello Kitty out with the marshmallow. I don't have anything that's chocolate, chocolate. I got this thing that's milk candy. I'm not sure. I don't think it's going to be milk chocolate. The only thing that could have any chocolate at all would be like uh, this choco cream. So we can do like a s'mores maybe. So let me open this stuff up and we'll see. All right, folks. We're going to put the uh, camera on the DJI here. Uh, Lamont at Large got this for me. Uh, awesome gift got for me a couple years ago and it's been a real uh, blessing to have for filming and all great quality uh but i'll put this on here and uh, i can free my hands up and kind of show you what's going on here all right there we go what i like about this is uh this dji you can uh walk around with it and keep a nice steady uh you know feel the contrast here as far as when you're filming and it has a little uh tripod on the bottom that you can screw in and just keep it as a stationary uh, low to the you know to the tabletop situation where it's not like you don't have to get a big tripod out and all it's just great all right mrs chef i'm gonna open the hello kitty she's gonna try the marshmallow I'm, it's got two biscuits or cookies or whatever this is so all right here's one here Okay, it smells, it smells almost kind of vinegary, like a, kind of strange, like a fried wonton with a hint of um, acid in it or something. 
It's, it, yeah, it's kind of uh, smell. Hey, smell this, folks. See what y'all think. But yeah, it's kind of smells like a fried wonton that has like a, a little bit of rice wine vinegar in it or something. So I'm curious to see if this is gonna be savory or sweet. All right, folks. I definitely need a haircut. Uh, haven't had time yet, but let's try this thing out. I kind of got a mess behind me. I got the moss and stuff over here. We we're cleaning up after all the rain. That's what it looked like. It smells like a crab rangoon with like a vinegary sauce. What it smells like? Very tart, so my assumption was correct. It almost has like a little bit of sugar on it, but it has a very um, tangy vinegar, like rice wine vinegar taste to it. I'm pretty good with my smell and my palate working together, uh, identifying things. You want to try this, Mrs. Chef? See what you think? It's very different. Yeah. I've never heard the other one. Watch you. <coughs> A little dry. I want to see what you think. <laughs> you see your face. <laughs> Y'all can't see me because I look like a crackhead. Yeah, but it's um very tart, right? Got a strange flavor. It's got vinegar taste. It's got fish sauce in it. it. Looks like yeah, a little bit of fish sauce and vinegar. Okay, so Mrs. Chef bit into the uh, marshmallow I just showed you. It's got chocolate in the middle, almost like a, a bastardized version of a s'mores. She says it's really good. I'm gonna try a little bite. Yeah, it's like a s'mores inside out. Hmm. It's really good. I like that one. All right, we have to try this one. Okay. Let's see. This is the one I was showing everybody here. I don't know about that. That's be gross. It's so insane. It's just teriyaki. So. All right, let's open this together and see what the heck it is. I am curious. What the <laughs> heck is this, Mrs. Shea? I don't know. It's got it's a hole in it. Teriyaki something. Well, it's broken half already. Oh. Ugh. Looks like a churro. It smells like beef base. It's like a big cheese puff with teriyaki powder on it. It's not bad. That's actually really good. Mm. I actually really like that. <laughs> mm, I really like that. I wouldn't mind getting more of these. So if you see this one, teriyaki. Heck yeah. Mm. It's really good. Tasty. I even got some of my nose. Mm. It's got a unique flavor when you first bite into it. Very nice. All right, folks, if you guys enjoyed this kind of stuff, let me know. We'll do more of these. I love doing these myself. Um, that's about all the snacks we're going to do tonight because I can only eat so many snacks at one time. But uh, What do you want? Dot thingy. Little puppy dot things. With a rabbit and a squirrel on it? This? Okay, we'll try this one now. And then we're going to put the rest of them up. And uh, we'll try them. Uh, stay tuned and we'll get some more of these out. And y'all can see what the rest of them look like when we open them and taste them and all. I'm thinking it's going to be like a Smarty. Yeah. It's more chalky than a Smarty. Smarty is definitely better in my opinion, but... Uh, they're kind of like a Pez. So you're probably going to like them because you like Pez. Tastes more like a Pez candy. But they're lighter. They're like really... Once you crunch into them, there's nothing to them. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm going to put the rest of this up. We will get back into this down the road. So if you guys are interested in seeing more of it as we open them up. 
I'd like to ask you to subscribe below. Stay tuned. I will tell you this. I'll give you a heads up. I got a, a bunch of MREs coming from across the world right now. Uh, usually this time of year I buy several MREs and stuff and just start doing videos on those because it's fun to do in the winter time. Some are coming from Lithuania and other places, so it can take months to actually get them. So I order them now. They usually come in, you know, right after Christmas time or something like that. So uh, it's, like, it's like a Christmas for myself, you know, like a, a gift for myself. The, the Leading up to Christmas and right after Christmas, all these things start coming in. So those will be coming up over the next month to six weeks. So check those out.